Take a deep breath. Don't rush through. Take some time to be with Jesus and his pain and allow your pain to be with him. Matthew 27, verses 57 through 60. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. O oh Lord, my God, your body was taken down and laid in a tomb. And it seemed like the end of the story. But they had to wait to find out the rest. You had done a new thing for the salvation of the world. A new tomb needed to be had for you. It was a new day. A new way of knowing you. But waiting was in the mix. Soon people would see you again, but not in the same way. Soon the world would know that you still lived on, that death could not hold you. But they'd wait. It was Passover. And they had to wait. May I, too, be willing to wait on you when I think my story is over when I long for you to do a new thing and bring life out of my tombs, when I don't see your salvation right away. May I 